What's happening people? Welcome to another video with all sorts. I've got two iPhone 15 boxes right here. One is fake, one is real. Now the fake one is this big one right here. It's this iPhone 15 Pro Max by GoPhone. And this one right here is my Apple iPhone 15 Pro. They're both in the same color. And today we are doing a real versus fake just to show you what to look out for when it's time to purchase an iPhone 15. I've done other real versus fake. So if you haven't seen the real versus fake playlist make sure you check it out on my previous uh, playlist videos uh, i've also done unboxing on the apple 15 apple iphone 15 pro uh, and also this fake goo phone 15 pro max so if you haven't seen them make sure you check it out i will leave the link in the description box below as always make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above as always put up sneak peeks on what to expect and also and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when we upload any video you'll actually be notified in today's video Video, we'll be taking a look at the box I'll show you some of the details you need to look out for when it's just the box you're looking at then we'll take a look at the design of the smartphones uh, we'll take a look at some of the discrepancies with the fake version uh, compared to the original and then I'll show you a little bit about the operating system as well now of course with the fake one the operating system won't be as good but they have tried to duplicate the layout as much as possible but so I'll show you that in today's video so make sure you you do share out this video because there are people out there that are selling this fake Google Phone 15 Pro Max as the original so you don't want people to get scammed so share out the video if you are um, wanting an iPhone 15 and you have seen this video before you purchased it let me know in the comments section below and a big thumbs up and a subscribe will be appreciated so straight into it so you ignore the size as uh, I'm just going to show you what to look out for because the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max are exactly the same just the size of the boxes are different uh, because of the phone so looking at the picture now it's a cheaper version printed picture of the iPhone 15 Pro Max on the left hand side as uh, this is the fake Google phone but it's, it has a 3d printed iPhone 15 on the uh, on the original as you can see the picture is much more like hey 4k i would say and this is like a 1080p on the uh google phone 15 pro max i'll call them both iphone 15s uh because that's what we're gonna do it now of course with the uh fake one i've uh, marked out the logos you have got logos around it and i've got to say they are exactly the same even when it comes down to the iphone uh, text as well uh, the only thing I can see on this you've got a little bit of shine on the original when it comes to the uh, Google phone I don't know if you can tell this on camera it's just a bold black blackish gray color there's no shine to it but if you do put this uh, original one you can see a little bit of a gray shine to the text and now that's this is just minute details to look out for so taking a look at the back now the Big telltale sign that this is a fake and I have uh, marked out the um, brand logo on the fake one. The big telltale sign is if you have a iPhone box in front of you and it's got uh, a sticker that tells you uh, in English what's inside the box, that is definitely a fake. Because when it comes to the original, it's all printed on the box except for the pull tabs. Now the pull tabs of course are same on this uh, fake one as well as you saw in the unboxing review but you have a separate sticker just for the IMEI and the details of the uh, smartphone uh, on the box uh, it's all a sticker as well as you can see you can take it off now when it comes to the um, or original you've, it's printed on in black as well here if you have a darker shade of black but other than that I have gone through all the texts and everything and I can't find any um, tech typing errors now before you could actually see some typing errors on the fakes uh, there were a lot of um, typing uh, errors but now i think google phone has actually upped the game a little bit and uh, gone through everything so they don't get any typing errors so if you uh, if you want to check it yourself pause it right now and uh, yeah let me know if you do find a typing error but so far i've not actually seen one myself
Now coming inside of the box, so just before we take a look at what we get inside, you probably already know, let's take a look at the top part of the box. Now when you're looking at it, uh, of course with the fake one, it's cheap cardboard, it's really white cardboard, but you're not going to know until you got the original next to it because I don't know if you can tell on camera, uh, it's much more creamer than uh, the fake one so the fake is pure white and the original is more creamish white i would say and another thing to look out for is the camera lens cutout as you can see here if you pull it up you'll be able to pull it up but you can see the cardboard around it so that's another telltale sign that it might it might be a fake because you could use a fake box with the original phone so you've got to look uh, be careful but when it comes to the original as you can see when you're looking into it, you can't actually see the cardboard around, but when it comes to the fake, you can see the cardboard. So that's what to look out for um, on the uh, on the boxes, the top part of the boxes of the iPhone. So taking a look at the inner uh, bottom box where the phone and the manuals and also the charging wire. So when I've got out my original braided iPhone charger just to show you this one. Now taking a look at it, you can't tell the difference. They look identical, these charging wires, but there is one minute difference. You can actually check to see if you have a fake or original charging wire. So when it comes to the original, let me show you the original first. So this is the original and on one of the USB type C, one is plain. I don't know if you can uh, see that. So one is plain. And if you go come to the other one, you'll be able to see the Apple. Um, there we go. The Apple address. As you can see right there. That's what you need to look out for when it comes to these braided charging wires. When it comes to the fake one, you don't get the apple it's like a yellowish font i've not even used it i've not even used it look and it just says uh, let me see what it says it's just got model number a2 a2796 china that's what it actually says and it's in a yellow color as well don't know if you can uh, see it but it should say Apple and it doesn't. It just gives you a model number and China. So that's a minute difference on what to check when it comes to the braided iPhone chargers. Coming to the manual pouch and as you can see the text is a little bit off and it's much more darker font compared to the original but you probably wouldn't recognize that if you had just had the fake one uh, inside. Uh, the only thing you can actually tell if you open it up and there's no stickers then that's another sign that it could be fake when you open the original one up you get the sim card ejector tool you also get uh, let's see how much you get three different booklets and also a sticker so if you have not got five items in this uh, little pouch here then there might be something wrong on the fake you only get two which is the sim card ejector tool and before using your iphone so you get five in the original and two in the fake. So remember that. This is what you've come to look at, the iPhones. Let me just zoom in properly. So ignore the mark what I made on the uh, fake one. As when I was doing the unboxing review, I wanted to mark it out. So instead of me blurring it out and doing uh, clip by clip burning it out, I just marked it out. I can take it off easily if I want to. But look at both of these they are natural titanium color now i have got to say the color is a little bit off i don't know if you can see that on camera it's much more lighter on the fake one and it's much more darker on the original so i'm just going to zoom it out just to show you so there we have it and the fingerprints actually do stick to the fake one uh, another thing you need to check out as well so when you've got uh, the phone in your hand just run your thumb against the back a panel uh, of the iPhone uh, if you hear a nice smooth matte feel like that then that is it's a good sign that it could be original when it comes to the fake you can't you only can hear slight it's plastic it's not a glass I don't think it's glass and it's not got a matte feel as well it's a smooth finish but when it comes to the original you've got a really nice matte 
feel as well so that's one thing to find out now another thing is is the camera lens you have to look really careful with this one <clears throat> that on the fake as you can see you've got one camera lens and the next two are fake also the a 3d lidar scanner but you can't tell the difference on that so you need to check these two lens now with the original as you can see it's much more the lenses are much more tinted but if you look with the fakes they're not tinted you can see the lenses so putting it into the light as you can see you can see the lenses on the fake but you can't see the lenses on the original because they are tinted as well so you need to check the camera lens as well to see if you can see the lens and see what's fake so the bumps as you can see they are pretty uh, identical uh, on the fake the the camera bumps are much more th bigger a little bit bigger than the uh, original as you can see look at that the camera bumps on the fake is much more uh, bigger than the uh, original another thing to look out for so if you've got the holding the phone in your hand and you see uh, stickers uh, like this then that's another telltale sign you've got a fake because original ones they don't have stickers like that on it just to protect the body another thing with the body as well is if you look at the sides of the phones as you can see it's much more brushed uh, steel effect on the fake Google phones you can't see the lines on the original as you can see if you're looking at the original you can't see the lines but if you look at the fake it's a much more brushed steel effect on the fake than it is original if you have got iphone in your hand and you can see a design like this like a, a brushed steel with lines going through it then it might have a fake when it comes to the original as you can see it's nice smooth finish i don't know how much titanium or if any titanium uh, is used in these google phones but if you want me to find out we might have to do another video with that but overall if you're taking a look at the buttons and everything everything looks exactly the same even at the bottom the only thing i would say is um the uh, speaker grills inside of the fake are much more deeper than the original i don't know if you can see that on camera that's a little minute difference as well and also the pentelope screws are much more deeper on the original than they are the fake and that's just actually being really really cautious as well but i want to show you as much detail as i can just in case uh, you don't get um scammed when it comes to the original there's one more thing now i don't know if that will actually be on the max version but as you can see on the left hand side of the original iphone you've got three holes on the right hand side on the left hand side of the fake you've got four on the right hand side you've got six on the fake one and on the original on the right hand side you've got five so i don't know if that's same with the pro maxes or it's same um or it's not or it's same as the original but yeah you've got four screws four holes on the bottom and six on the right hand side original you got three and five so that's another thing you need to look out for as well the speaker grill holes at the bottom of the phone next i just want to show you how the operating system is like on the fake when it's compared to the original they have gone all out with this one they have tried to duplicate as much as possible when it comes to the dynamic island on this iphone 15 pro um max compared to the iphone 15 pro pro max whichever one you've got so pushing in the power buttons and it will bring you up with the uh apple logo on the original and same again on the fake exactly the same color as well let's start off with double tap double tap on the original wakes the phone up double tap on the fake does wake the phone up the te uh, the font and text is actually different uh, it's much more bolder and thicker on the fake iphone compared to the original and another thing to look out for is the screen you've got a big chin at the bottom now that should not be there if you have an original smartphone make sure you do switch the phone on just to have a check you shouldn't have a big chin at the bottom it should be nice and uh, equal when it comes to the screen to body ratio not a um, a small bezel at the top and a big chin at the bottom if you see that it's definitely a fake another thing is the text it doesn't shouldn't go to the edge of the screen 
as you can see right that way it says no sim card it should not go to the edge of the screen like that and the big telltale sign is this font as well you can actually change it but when you're taking it out of the box it comes standard with that so that's another telltale sign that you might have a fake there the biggest one is the chin at the bottom look how GoPhone has duplicated the operating system everything is exactly the same the smoothness of the screen is better as well not as smooth as the original of course but yeah everything is exactly the same it's a bit slower if you want to see what the uh, results are on this phone the speedness you check out the review where i did a uh, what was it it was a device check and show you i'll just show you quickly if it comes on but it is a bit slower as well hardware if you're going to hardware mediatek mt650 but you can see the full review to see what it's like but the you check out the dynamic island it's really really identical to the original but yeah uh, they have definitely copied it even when you swipe up uh, it will bring you to your uh, apps and i don't want to show you mine because yeah it does bring it to your apps you can swipe up and it will actually take it off as well even swipe back to work let's go into settings and show you uh, the similarities look at the similarities on the settings app they have definitely gone all out action button it doesn't actually work as well actually it does work it does work the action button yes it does it opens up the camera you can choose that so like i said if i um push in the action button tap and hold and as you can see, did you see the dynamic island? The dynamic, dynamic island does actually work as well. Let's tap it to open it. See, it does work. I'll show that again. Look at that. I am actually shocked with that. And it just comes up to the camera. So you can actually change the dynamic island. But look at all of the features. Swipe back does work as well on the uh, fake and the original of course but they have actually duplicated everything when it comes to the settings it actually looks exactly the same wow now i know this video is long so i'm going to end it very soon but just before i do i want to show you what the dynamic island is like if you want me to do another part two real versus fake and show you some other features between both of these let me know in the comments but in this video i just wanted to show you what to look out for so when i plug it in under charge as you can see it goes wider and it says charging and uh, yeah that's you also get a, a reminder as well uh, when your battery is low so when it comes to the fake let's see what happens here push putting in the charger and as you can see it goes wider and it goes you look just look how they've actually duplicated all that but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video of real versus fake when it comes to these iphone 15s if you've got any other questions that you want to see any other videos let me know in the comment section below and i'll make some shorts video make sure you do follow me on one of the social medias above as i'll put some more shorts and tiktok videos up and make sure you do share this video out because there's a lot of people out there that are wanting to buy originals and they get duped into buying these fake ones as you can tell right here and i will be tearing these down as well just to show you what they're like inside as well so make sure you do subscribe for that anyways thanks again for watching and i'll see you again for another video